used car dealer training from inside of a car. I got a great question today on my group, used car dealer training, on Facebook. And the question was about odometer problems. Something that dealers don't like to talk about. But today, we're going to talk about it. This question comes from our Facebook group, Used Car Dealer Training. Go check it out and join. It's absolutely free. Over 5,000 dealers are there. Very fun group. Now let's get to the question. David asked, need someone's input here. I sold a used commercial box truck with 127,000 miles six months ago to a customer with no warranty. Customer just called me and said they just scanned the vehicle and it has 250,000 miles. He says he wants a full refund back. I told him there's no way that's happening. He said that we rolled back the mileage. I told them, how did I know that he didn't roll back the mileage? David, David. <laughs> uh, he started throwing insults and threats. I'm taking you to court. What are my options? The bill of sales says it's exempt, but I rode 127,000 miles on the title when he purchased it here in Florida. He's in South Carolina. First and foremost, David, you need to show a little bit of compassion. This guy is the victim here. He's 100% the victim. You're not the victim. He's the victim. He just bought a car with more than double mileage what he was supposed to have. And it's a commercial truck. So he probably looked for a lower mileage vehicle. <laughs> One thing you don't want to do is be a smart ass to the victim. Okay, now we got the common sense out of the fucking way. We're going to talk about what you should do. Look, you have a 50-50 chance that he is going to take you to court. And if he takes you to court, he's going to destroy you. Judges don't like used car dealers anyway. Even if we're in 100% right, there is a chance that they may uh, rule against us. So you don't want it to go to court. And like I said, you have a 50-50 chance that it will. Now, you have another 50-50 chance if he is smart enough to call the Florida DMV. And I was in the district of Orange City. And I can tell you that if you're in the district of Orange City and those inspectors and investigators down there uh, you are absolutely done. Not as far as your dealer's license or anything. They're not going to take that. But they're going to make you pay the man back. Even though it's been six months. It could have been a year. But that's the way it rolls. It is your responsibility to make sure that these vehicle odometers have not been tampered with. So this isn't uncommon, folks. This stuff happens. So it happened to me. I bought a car at the auction and I sold it and it came back as a mileage discrepancy. The auction never said it was a mileage discrepancy. Offered to buy the car back. But the thing is, I made this big profit and I didn't want to give the car back to the auction. So what I did was I made the customer happy is I took back the car and put them in another car. And I know that you're not going to be able to do that unless you find another box truck, which is probably not the case. Uh, some of the solutions for you is give them back $500. Uh, give, them, give them something. Uh, I mean, that's what I do or, or that's what I would try. Because at the end of the day, if he tries, he will get it. 
through a lawsuit or your bond. He will get it. You just need to concentrate now on lessening your blow. And you did insult a guy and accused him of rolling back the odometer on his own car that he came down there, drove all the way back to South Carolina. So I wouldn't be too happy with you right now either, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but you need to reach out. I mean, that's what I would do. Now, if you want to roll the dice, there's a chance that you will never hear from this guy ever again. There is a chance. I'd say a 50% chance. Uh, probably, I don't know, probably a... I pr probably have marked it down to 30 now because you did insult the guy. So... Anyway, it's up to you. It's your dealership. If you want to wait till he comes after you and deal with it then, then do that. Uh, or you can uh, catch the bull by its horns and deal with it now. Um, but I will tell you, if you get reported to the DMV, the DMV will red flag you. And they will have more inspections. Uh, and they will be prone to take the customer's side every time you have a complaint. That's just my two cents. Take it or leave it. Now, with that being said, there are some cases where the dash cluster needs to be changed. Something is broken inside the dash cluster, and you have to change it. And you go down to the junkyard and you buy another one or you take it to the dealer. If it's a Toyota, you take it to a Toyota place. Chevy, you take it to a Chevy place. But that gets expensive as hell. So what I have done is went to a junkyard. I grabbed one, have my mechanic put it in. And uh-oh, the mileage is different. What do I do? You advertise it as, hey, something was broke and the odometer had to change it. The mileage is not accurate. That's all you have to do. And when you're selling it to retail customers, all you have to do is put uh, mileage discrepancy, TMU, true mileage unknown. And if they ask you why, then you tell them why, but have them check the box or uh, initial the box. Folks, invest in yourself. Invest in your business. Go and get my seminar. It's only $99.00 mydealerprogram.com $99 if you can invest $99 in your business make you a little bit smarter oh my god I don't know what to tell you if you need a little bit more help I do offer coaching zoom calls and I will make a plan for your business folks a plan for your business to succeed oh my gosh <sighs> mydealerprogram.com